What's good, YouTube? It's your man, Rage King, back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, I ask if y'all please go down there, hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button, and hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rumor Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe. And y'all, y'all, you know what? I've been a little bit too humble. The past couple of videos I done done. I just I'm not gonna do too much, brag. I'm not that, but fuck that. I'm gonna rub it in motherfuckers' faces that never thought that Rage King will ever be right. Now as you see right here, we got an article right here per IG, and we're gonna read, we're gonna react. That's just how we do over here. But before we get started, allow me to toot my own horn just a few more times. Mm mm mm. I told y'all. I told y'all. How many motherfucking times do I gotta be right before I go viral around this bitch? Anyway, let's get into it. Now, Activision Blizzard scandal. Bobby Kotick reportedly knew about allegations for years. And the workers announced a walkout. Now, let's speak on it. Now, before I even get into this article, did I not tell y'all? Did I not tell y'all there is no way you are the boss of a fucking billion dollar corporation and have no idea what the environment of that work culture is? There is absolutely no way. And if that is the case... Your ass don't need to be boss or your ass is participating in it. Did I not tell y'all that shit? I told y'all. Let's read on. Following the explosive allegations against Activision, C Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick reported by the Wall Street Journal, the ABK Workers Alliance announced that they would be staging a walkout. Among their demands is that Kotick step down as CEO. I ain't even actually read the damn article and it's already telling y'all what's up. Much like I told y'all what's up when this shit first started happening. Let's continue. We will not be silenced until Bobby Kotick has been replaced as CEO and continue to hold our original demand for third party review by an employee chosen source. The group wrote in a post on Twitter. Here's the post right here. I'll read it for you. We have instituted our own zero tolerance, zero tolerance policy. We will not be silenced until Bobby Kotick has been replaced as CEO and to continue and continue to hold our original demand for third party review by an employee chosen source. We are staging a walkout as we are staging a walkout today. We welcome you to join us. Sorry, I'm reading a little bit too fast because I love being right. <laughs> Activision Blizzard employees previously staged a walkout when harassment allegations first emerged over the summer. The original report continues below. A new report claims that Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick knew about the alleged sexual misconduct, as I can't say the other word, you know, YouTube and they bullshit, and harassment allegations within company-owned studios but did not disclose the information to the company's board. I'm going to read that again. A new report claims that Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick knew of the alleged sexual misconduct and harassment allegations within company owned studios, but did not disclose, did not disclose the information to the company's board because he knew about it, didn't say shit or he was participating in it. Did I not tell y'all last time I'm going to say in the next five minutes, the same report states that Jen O'Neill, a female who was recently made co-head of the company before announcing her departure just three months later, has previously experienced harassment at the company, was paid less than her male counter counterpart, Mikey Barra, and said that she was tokenized by the company. I'm going to say this right here. This bitch, Jen O'Neill, is full of shit. All right. And here's how I can prove it. I don't know about y'all, but I've grown up primarily around females. I'm not a bitch or anything like that, but I've grown up primarily around females. And when you grow up primarily around females, if you pay attention and not simping for them, you tend to notice that they have certain patterns. They tend to react to different. They tend to react to different shit the same way. They just do. They all like. They they all like a part of this damn, this this, this damn magical invisible fucking metaverse, if you will. That, that, that all their brains are all hardwired to do the same shit under the same situations. Now, I say that to say this. This bitch, Jen O'Neill, claims she was harassed. She, was, she had this happen to all that. But yet, you took a promotion at the company that was supposedly doing this. Now, I don't know about y'all. I don't know about y'all. But from the, from the females I've been associated with, and there's been quite a few. I'm not bragging. There's been quite a few. From the females I've been associated with, when something like that happens and it truly makes you uncomfortable, if it even happened at all or it wasn't welcomed, when that happens, one of three things are going to happen. One, she's going to quit and find another job. Two, 
the police are getting called, or three, somebody's going to end up fucking dead. There is no option four. There is no, I'm just going to make, well, no, 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 especially not to, not in today's age, absolutely not. Well, motherfuckers are literally getting paid just to lie about some shit. Look what happened to Jake Paul. Bitches out here lying and getting away with it. Now, am I saying that, you know, Am I saying that that she's just completely lying just for the sake of lying and trying to save face? Hell yeah, I'm saying that. Because either she was participating in it, she welcomed it, or she knew about it, didn't say nothing. If she did not, why did you take a promotion? If it was that much of a problem, if it was, why did you take the promotion? I'm just saying. You can't pay victims. You understand what I'm saying? If they are truly victims, true victims don't want money. They want justice. I'm just saying. Moving on. A new Wall Street Journal reports continues the long-running scandal within Activision Blizzard, which came to light when the state of California filed a lawsuit against the company. The report centers, <clears throat> the report centers on Kotick, and the report centers on Kotick and says that internal documents and sources familiar with the company show that the CEO was aware of many of the reported abuses within the company, including accusations of EPAR backwards, because I can't say that word. They were emailed directly to Kotick, but did not inform the board of everything he knew because he was participating. An Activision spokesperson told the WSJ that Mr. Kotick would not have would not have been informed of every report of misconduct at every Activision Blizzard company, nor would he be nor would he responsibly be expected to have been updated on all personal issues, personnel issues. Kotick himself told the WSJ that he and the board now expect to be kept better informed than in the past about workplace issues and that examples raised in this reporting are exemptions are exceptions to the company's normal behavior. Sure they are, buddy. Following the publication of WSJ's report, Kotick issued a public message calling the article inaccurate and misleading, though that is what you said out of your own mouth. Of the company and himself, Kotick also said that everyone, that anyone who doubts his conviction to creating the most inclusive workplace really doesn't appreciate how important this is to me. Um, I can. Uh, it's not important to you at all, asshole. That's why we're in this situation now. And, and, and then before I continue, for those that's been following me for a while, I made a video titled Meet the Face that ruined modern day gaming. Isn't it odd that the same guy in 2010 that, that, that made it his mission to know, to take the fun out of video games is now going through this shit? Boy, look at God, man. Ain't he inspirational? And I'm not talking about that God all them celebrities be where I ain't talking about, the, I'm talking about the God up above in heaven. I'm talking about Jesus. All I'm talking about all the pearly gates, all the, all the, all God, Jesus Christ, the, 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 the son, the father and the spirit. That's what I'm talking about. We don't do loose for over here. Anyway, let's continue. The report also includes a number of the new accusations against current and former employees. Dan Bunting, co-head of Trey Arc, is alleged to have sexually harassed a female employee in 2017, but despite HR recommendations that he be fired, was kept on after consulting, after after counseling, excuse me, because of his contribution to the Call of Duty series. Bunting has reportedly left Trey Arc after the WSJ has after the W after the WSJ acts to discuss the alleged incident. Smart by his most smart move on his part. You better be glad his ass didn't end up in jail, if that is to be true. If that is to be true. A sledgehammer game supervisor, Javier Panamino, Panamino, was reportedly accused of EPAR backwards by a female employee as well as harassment of a second woman. Where were the police in this situation is what I want to know. Oh, okay. Let me continue reading on. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Panamino was ultimately fired. Another sledgehammer employee, Edward Rorich, Rorich, Rorich was also accused of sexual harassment. Rorich was given two weeks of paid leave and moved position within Activision before get, before being let go from the company after a separate incident in which he argued with a manager. Let me ask something. Who the hell are y'all hiring, bro? Who the hell are y'all hiring? Let me get this straight. So y'all won't hire motherfuckers out here who's got one misdemeanor charge on them, but y'all hiring fucking predators? Make that make sense. No wonder why these games ain't making no damn sense nowadays because you ain't got gamers in there. You got motherfuckers that should be in jail. <sighs> the report also includes a section on the departure of Jen O'Neill, who was appointed co-head of Activision Blizzard in August, the company's first female leader, but resigned after just three months. 
O'Neill reportedly emailed Activision leadership after a month in the role, saying that it was clear that the company would never prioritize our people the right way. The report says she was paid less than her male co-leader, Mikey Barra, and had told leadership that she had been tokenized, marginalized, and discriminated against. O'Neill also alleges that she was sexually harassed at Activision prior to her time as co-head of the company. I ask again, bitch, if that happened, then why didn't you do what the other people did and file a report? What was the why you didn't tell the police? How did you take a whole promotion and then as soon as you saw shit hit the fan with Bobby Kotick and everybody else, Activision as a whole, now you decided to get your ass out of there. Now you just throwing that in now. If that truly happened, you would have said something then. Not kept it to yourself till shit start going bad and then you want to say that to save face. That's all I got to say about that, bitch. That's the end of the article. So I'm going to end the video on this, man, because I don't want to spend too much time that I haven't already spent on this shit. I have been calling for Bobby Kotick's jobs since before all this shit came out because there's no way you become the boss of a multi-billion dollar corporation and say that you want to take out the very essence of what built the corporation to begin with how the hell do you build a corporation on fun video games and then just all of a sudden just wake up with a wild with a wild hair up your ass and say you know what i'm gonna take out all the fun in the game and still charge people for it what the fuck is wrong with you what the fuck is wrong with you and i'm gonna even say a hot take right here before i get up out of here hot take I truly do believe that Activision is not the only big time triple A development company that is participating in this. I also believe that companies like Take Two Interactive, companies like EA, and even to a lesser degree, possibly I can I can probably throw NRS in there, but you know it. No, I'm not going to throw NRS in that, but for damn show, it wouldn't surprise me if EA and Take-Two Interactive are participating in this exact same thing. Because look at how bad their games are continuously getting each and every year. Always an excuse to why you can't make a better game, but you're charging more money for this bitch. More microtransactions. More bullshit. So, look, I'm not one to just say, you know, the man doesn't deserve to feed his family or anything like that. I'm not saying that at all. However, I will say this. Bobby Kotick and everybody he hired that participated in this bullshit and the other gaming companies that will be that, that will be uh, exposed here in the next few years. I'm calling it now that will be exposed for doing this exact same shit here in the next few years. I do call for this motherfucker to be exiled from the gaming community as a whole because there's no place for that. There's no place for that. If you got the urge to just to, to just touch on females and, and, and harass people sexually and everything like that, motherfucker, either watch some porn or create your porn hub page and start, and, and start paying for actors because this has no place in the gaming community. This has no this makes gaming. This makes gaming. The gaming community look so bad. It really does. Y'all should be a damn shame to yourselves. How y'all grown ass men and can't control your urges? How y'all grown ass men are still acting like fucking children? Hell, y'all old enough to be my father's age and yet y'all acting like y'all half as young as I am. Get the fuck out of here. So yeah, get this piece of shit the fuck out of here. Good riddance. Sayonara. Get the fuck on. I'm out.